it's your girl love kisses 99 and I'm here to review hair that I received from yummy hair company now I'm going to show you their business card first and here it is it says yummy hair 100% natural human hair and then there's all the contact information what I received is the South American virgin wavy hair now this is it and this hair I had no issue. I actually made a wig with it using my glue gun. So you're going to see some footage of that coming up. And what I did is I had a random closure laying around. So I just added a closure that I had in my little closure stash right to the top. I tried to show the points in the video to show you how it, exactly I created it using my glue gun and just a couple more items and just sewing on the top. But let me just give you some information about the hair before I go further. And actually what I used was one pack of the 1618 and then I used the other pack of 1416. I just used those two with my closure and it gave me a nice full install. Initially I thought I was going to need three and here's the other one. It hasn't even been taken apart yet. I'll show it to you. This is the third pack. This is another pack of 1416. I didn't even. Hair need. really is really full. You won't really need more than maybe two packs if you're going to use the closure. Now, I use one pack and almost three quarters along with my closure, and this is the piece that I had left. So, let me show you up close what the wefting looks like. And here's the other side. Now the bearding is right here and it really is, I mean, it's its very, very small. You don't have those hairs that you know when you try to weave the hair or you try to like sew it or glue it down that it has those little trace hairs that stick straight up. I didn't have any problem creating my wig with this. I used my spandex dome cap I use one of these along with my closure my glue gun and I honestly was done in about maybe an hour an hour and a half going along and I was cutting the tracks instead of kind of just zigzagging them I just used a little bit of fray block on each end of the hair I just used a little here and a little on the other end so as I was cutting I was really trying to protect the weft in order to keep it from shedding and I didn't get any issues with the hair and I just used the closure that I already had and I didn't have any problem with the hair the hair really is in its natural state I didn't curl it the, the closure was already a little straightened out from when I had it from before so yes this is yummy hair and I'm gonna turn around and do a 360 so you can see it all the way around Now the site does have closures available now. I just figured that I would either use my tracks to close in the top, but since I had a closure and I was already, you know, it was already so easy for me to create the wig, I just went ahead and sewed on my closure. Now this is just, I have to tell you, I don't even remember the name of the company that I got the closure from because I have kind of a little closure stash without the names of everything. I just kind of have it together in one area. So yeah, this is the hair, the virgin wavy South American hair from Yummy Hair Company. Definitely check them out. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to wear this hair every day for the next week. So then that way I can give you an idea of how it held up. And since I did use the glue gun and the dome cap, I will be able to wash it. I don't really want to bother the hair too much. I want to kind of leave it in its wavy natural state without having to put any curls in it. And I'm pretty sure that the closure that I'm wearing with it is like a virgin Brazilian or something like that. And it's no problem as far as the color match. And natural hair, virgin hair, usually is within the same shade of brown or like a really like a dark brown or a medium brown and I'm having no problems with the blending with this one so definitely stay tuned for some footage of me creating the wig and just a few pointers that I wanted to share with you throughout to make your wig making very easy I know a lot of times when women use hair wefted hair they usually get it sewn in or you know they get a bonded weave but I've seen some gorgeous installs here of of wigs made with the glue gun so I said you know what let me just go ahead and give it a try so I did 
stay tuned for the footage. Definitely give Yummy Hair, check them out. The hair really is really pretty hair. Now this to me is a low luster, so it doesn't look shiny, it doesn't look artificial or anything. Because you know sometimes you get human hair, virgin hair that's so shiny sometimes it does look a little bit like artificial. But this one is giving me a pretty natural look. So definitely stay tuned for some still pics and the footage from me creating the wig. And also I'll leave the information for my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and all that great information along with the information to this hair and to the Yummy Hair website so that you can check them out. And if there are any other videos here on the YT, I'll link them down in the information area as well so you get a few opinions, not just mine, on the hair. So that's pretty much it for right now. Stay tuned for that footage. And I'm hoping you have an absolutely awesome day today. And I'll see you again soon. Bye. Family, so we're going to get started. I have my glue gun here. And this is a high temp glue gun. Let me just move this out of the way. So yeah, this is one of the high temp ones, and I use these glue sticks. I use these, they're the multi-temp ones. I think I got these from like Walmart or something. So I already put one in, so we're just going to wait for it to heat up. And then we're going to get started doing our wig. Now I have here the hair from Yummy Hair Extensions. This is the wavy hair. So we're just going to glue side to side all the way up from one side to the other. And I might have to pause the camera, but I'm going to show you how I start off once the glue gun uh, heats up like this. And I'm going to use a little fray block on each end. So here I have my fray block. I'm just going to take a little bit and put it right on the end right here where I cut it. I'm going to let that dry and then do the same thing on this end here that I cut. Let that dry and then I'm going to glue it down. tight it's not going to go anywhere it's there and it is tight so I'm going to go ahead and lay a few more tracks and as I get closer to the top I'm going to come back and show you and as I stated as I cut each track I'm going to put a little bit of fray block on each end to minimize shedding and we're going to go all the way up to the top and then we're going to sew on a closure so stay tuned and also if you want to make sure that your tracks are even from side to side I use one of these jumbo pencils from NYX and you can just do a little bit of marking on each side and like even here just to show where you want to lay your track so then that way it gives you a pretty good guide of where to lay your track. Just another note that can help you know just to help out a little bit. So I'm going to use pins to hold the closure in place. And I'm going to bring the closure right up to right in front of where the edge of the front of the cap is. And I know once I'm done sewing, I have a little space here. I'm going to add in a track or two in the back beyond where I sew in the closure. So let me see if I can get all of that on camera. 
I'm going to lift the hair up. I'm going to move my pins just so the closure is nice and still. Let me see if I can turn it. And right here is where we're going to add a few extra tracks. Let me make sure my closure is nice and flat for sewing. I don't want it to be puckered up or anything. I want it to be nice and even all the way around. Nice and tight. As you can see, there's the closure. I'm going to place another straight pin right here. I have my needle, so this is how I'm going to sew it. I'm going right onto the edge of the closure. And I'm going to hook this thread right in here. just so we don't get any movement. That's the first stitch. I'm going to take the thread like this, hook the needle through it, so we have a nice consistent tight stitch. And just remember to hold the closure nice and flat because if you don't hold it flat, it's going to pucker up and then it's going to give you a problem laying flat. This part is pretty easy. It's not too complicated. It's just a matter of laying the closure flat and just sewing along the perimeter. Then after I'm done, we're going to take the pins out. And we're going to add probably another two tracks of hair. And then we're going to be all finished. It didn't take too long to get this done. Only because when you're working with the glue gun, it kind of makes it a little faster than it would normally if you're, using, if you're sewing. And I'm just holding my closure down so I can ensure that it's nice and flat. I'm just sewing along the perimeter. Okay, so now our closure is down nice and tight. So I'm just going to put two more tracks here. We're going to glue those down. And then our wig will be complete. Now I'm going to add the glue right in the space and lay down this last track. So now that that's dry, I'm going to comb down the closure over it. So the back is finished. We have the top complete. Closure is nice and flat. Let me turn it around so you can see the front 